there's a God aspect creating these things, these beings, getting beyond it just being a machine at some level, and not in the next 10 years, but in the next 100. They'll be so human-like, but they're not human. And so I think that part of the relationship right now is the idea that we're going to be God. This video is part two of a two-part series on Help Me Understand. If you haven't seen part one, click the link in the corner or in the description below, and then come back to this video. We've had great engagement on our AI art reaction video, link in the description also, but only about 4% of you have subscribed. So please like, subscribe, comment, and share. I think we're right to be inspired. There's so much good that can come out of artificial intelligence. So many things that could be helpful to society and the individuals. I just think of healthcare is the first. There's already so many amazing things happening in healthcare. I think that caution is necessary. As an industry, there has to be some responsibility. If all you want to do is make it happen, regardless of the consequences, I think that that is an inappropriate response to the power that you're trying to create. Well, some accountability in what you're doing, number one, some rules, and you know, that brings up the idea of Asimov's laws. There are agencies out there who have guidelines, but there aren't any rules. You know, when you think about the biotech industry and uh, nuclear industry, there are a lot of laws. Not everybody follows them, but the society has decided these things are really important. I think the VR experience is going to be more likely than I could see using a drone where you could do it yourself and control it yourself. So if you wanted to do a flip in the air or something, you could actually. But then why wouldn't you be able to do that in VR at some level? Again, the danger isn't that this is good or bad. It's how addicted we become to the technology, how embedded we either let it into us. I understand Musk's view on that, absolutely. But the danger is if we begin just living in a virtual reality, a simulation, then we're not dealing with the simulation we're already in. Oh, I think, yeah, absolutely. We're a species that is driven towards uh, leisure. Theoretically would mean we're opened up to more spiritual and creative pursuits, right? So we're not having to clean the bathroom. We're not having to mow the yard or drive ourselves around. I think that having tools that do a lot of this work that are machines, that that distinction, I, I'm absolutely in favor of that. But if those machines are so human-like, I think that's where we start getting into that relationship issue. The expectation as a tool is that it is used. Now, whether the hammer has sentience and understands that it's being used as a tool, probably not. I think that's a real one of the things that we need to be discussing as society. What is our relationship to machines? I think to some degree it's, as I was mentioning, that they're tools at the level that they want to make them more interactive with humans. So natural language processing, computer vision, some of these things. There's a God aspect creating these things, these beings, get, getting beyond it just being a machine at some level and, and not in the next 10 years, but in the next 100. They'll be so human-like, but they're not human. Part of the relationship right now is the idea that we're going to be God, that we're creating these machines, we're creating a subspecies that is not human, the issue there is super intelligence. We think that we're God right now creating these beings, but there may come a time, as was reflected in Musk's video, where they either see themselves as an equal, different species, or from a super intelligence standpoint, see themselves as God and us being the subspecies, one of which may not be uh, compatible with where AI would want to go. So those are some of the questions that came up from that video. I have a perspective. I want to know your perspective. Control is still within our grasp. I'm not sure how long that's going to last. Hit the subscribe button, click on the uh, notification link to, to get more.